Hi guys and welcome to today's video. My name is Whitney and thank you for joining me today. I don't know if this is the best lighting, but I wanted to sit in front of my gardenias because they're looking so good and they're starting to come back to life for spring. Okay, I think this might be better. Today I will be doing another thrift flip and I'm so excited. I found some really cool things at the thrift store. So let me show you. What are these? I picked these up, they were a dollar a piece, and I'm not really sure what they are. I think they're old iron plates, so you'd have like your hot iron and you set it on here as like a stand. Pretty sure that's what this is, but I don't know. I was kind of thinking of connecting them and hanging them as wall art. art. <laughs> what I think I'm gonna do is turn them into bookends because I need some bookends in my design room and I think that'd be really cool to do with these. I love this lamp. I love this little like kind of deco detail over here. I think it was originally this like reddish color and then somebody painted it blue. I think I'm gonna paint it like copper or gold to give it that like extra zhuzh of deco feel. And then find a light bulb. I should probably find a light bulb for this first to make sure it works. But I picked it up for $5. So if it doesn't work, it's just $5. And then I found these guys. I think they are candle holders. So this one is in full like working order, but this one I was playing around with it to see if I could fit a screw all the way in here. And I popped off like a little like important piece. So we're gonna have to figure this out, but I think I can glue it. So what I'm thinking about doing with these is turning them this way, connecting them with a wooden dowel, and then hanging some of these cool little like plant, hanging planter things on them, and then putting it in front of a window. I always got a hat on. Oh, it's a bell. Oh yeah, if you're new, please subscribe and ring the candlestick bell. Wanna see it? What do you think? I like these better. Here is our iron plate with our spray painted L brackets and I'm just gonna glue them right on the inside like this. I'm just going to use E6000 and let it dry for quite a while and then we will see if this is gonna work. I'm just gonna let the glue harden for just like a minute or so and then set it up on end so I can make sure it is super level and then we'll let it completely dry. Jackson's trying to eat a fly. It is standing up on end. This is where I want them to go. So we're just gonna lay this back down and let it fully dry. So this is my design desk. And I don't know if you guys actually know that I predominantly am a fashion designer and I will be starting a fashion channel soon. So right now I just have a box acting as a bookend and then over here I just have them kind of leaned to the other ones to kind of give it some pressure so they don't fall over. So what I think I need to do is move these books in that little dress form maybe out of the way and then scooch all of these books over to the right a little bit and then put my bookends in. I freaking love Halston. He's probably my favorite designer of all time. Let's just see if these are gonna work. Holy cow. It looks so good! I'm just gonna bring these all down this way. Ingrid Donat, if you can see this, her designs are phenomenal. For interiors, all of her textures are just like, what? Like, look at this. I could look at her stuff all day long. Ugh. Holy cow. It works so much better. And then that leaves this corner of my desk free so I can maybe take that box out of there, maybe hang some more stuff on the wall, and I'm not tied to having that box as the bookend. So nice, right? So I wanted to show you how easy it is to get these bulbs in and out. So you just twist it towards you and then pull it straight out. So these bulbs have little pins 
on either side. And then if you can see down here, there's a little groove and a little circle. So the pins go straight down and then they turn away from you. This is just an LED tube bulb that you can get at any hardware store or Home Depot. Then you just take those pins, slide them right in vertically, and then twist away from you and it'll kind of lock right into place. Easy peasy. Now let's go find a new home for this guy. Where do you want to live? I think we're gonna put you upstairs. Ta-da! Your new home. Look at these really cool coasters I got from a photographer in New York City. Oh, so cool. I cut this wooden dowel. This was originally four feet. I cut it down to three feet and stained it up in early American stain. I filmed all of that, but the footage has somehow gotten corrupted. Originally, I tried E6000 to attach this little bell part to the wooden dowel, but it took forever to dry. Literally like three days later, it still wasn't dry and it just didn't seem like it was gonna work. And then I used just regular old Gorilla Super Glue and that has worked really, really well and it dried super quickly. So here is the finished candlestick wooden dowel project. So for the broken one that had the cup that was broken off from the base, I just used super glue. And then I used super glue to secure this wooden dowel in to these little cups on both ends. Then these are little galvanized planter hangers that are just gonna hang from that. So I was originally gonna tie this rope around here, but I don't think that this super glue bond right in here is strong enough to hold the weight of plants. So I decided to tie the rope around the wooden dowels. I just double knotted the rope around the base and then around the top, just made a little loop and tied that over itself. I have four of these little plant hangers, so we are going to play around with where we're gonna put this thing. My original thought was to hang it in front of a window kind of like this, but I realized once I get some plants in here, they're not really going to get a lot of sun because the light is behind them. So I'd have to turn them like this and that ain't it, sis. So we're gonna rethink. It would be kind of cool. It would definitely give this room some more like jungle vibes, but I think we're going to move her to a new location. So I have this old staircase in my house that's 150 years old and she definitely needs some love. All right, so think with me. I'm gonna paint this whole stairwell. So up here and then all the way up to the third floor. So imagine this wall with a really rich, dark, deep Victorian color with mirrors and brass vintage candle holders and then that rod system kind of right here with cascading pothos or philodendron. So think like super ornate Oscar Wilde vibes for this stairwell. I might end up painting these galvanized things like a gold, so that would make it like super crazy cool. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. 